Hi, man. Morning. Say that again. Oh, pick up the yeah, springs. springs. So we're here right now, as you can see. I already removed my tires here. These two bolts, one from the top, one from the bottom. As you can see, I already marked them down. So I know where to put them back as much as accurate as possible. We're doing a spring swap. Uh, later later on the day you're gonna see me doing the rear so let's start by the front first uh, like I said I'm gonna loosen this up and this bolt by uh, doing that you need the ratchet here and also your breaker bar and a small ratchet after that you're gonna loosen up these three bolts right here on the top this one this one and this one so uh, yeah let's do that uh, as you can see here I already loosened it up using my breaker bar now it's the top part as you can see I removed the bolt so this is a little bit tricky you don't have enough room here using while well, using your d breaker bar here so good thing my Moto Master brand is like this is movable so I can get a little grip as you can see here there she goes it's loose now now we're gonna switch it up with the small ratchet top part is a little bit easier now I see that the top part got some washer on I will quickly mark that so I don't forget I get my sharpie handy and ready Now before you remove everything, you have to remove this, uh, I don't know what you call this thing, and also your brake line here. That's, it's just, uh, you're gonna press this little tab here, and it will pop right out. I don't know if I have access to that, maybe I'll use a screwdriver. I cannot, unfortunately I don't have my GoPro today it's not charged so I'll just uh, show you later when it's done so for the brake line uh, you need to have a 12 millimeter bolt uh, socket there's a bolt that is holding that brake line there if you can get it with one hand so this bolt right here this is super rusty and hard to remove good thing I got a good neighbor shout out to you man he lent me his impact gun now it's now it's loose so we can work our out now on this rusty bolt So yeah, before you remove everything down, you have to make sure that, I mean, before you remove this bolt right here, 
and a bolt right here. Make sure you remove this uh, thing here and also your brake line here. I think this is the ABS. So we're gonna remove this thing here. There we go. And then you're gonna want it to put this little bolt back so you don't lose them. Let's see if I can crank them down without using any parts. This uh, two bolts right here is a little rusty. You might need a rubber hammer, rubber hammer to pry them out. As you can see, it's not moving. So, yeah. So after uh, two thousand years, she's finally off. As you can see here. So it's a little bit hard to remove these two bolts here. I had to use a rubber hammer and also the lower part to be able to remove the lower part you have to have your jack here you have to lift it a little bit here closer to your rotors what i did is i try to lift it a little bit so it support the uh, support my hands on holding this down so it don't fall out and also well by giving a pressure there see you can see uh, here you can see it's moving it's helping you to kind of play with this one and how to wiggle in this stuff and you know it's hard to lift this when you don't have a hoist at your home and you're only working on your jack stand so yeah, that's the way I do it. I just put a little rag here that I don't use anymore and jack it up a little bit so I can get the right amount of uh, height to remove the lower part bolt. Now, we're gonna work on this tree here. Uh, I'm gonna remove this, this, and this. And don't forget when you're working alone, you have to, uh, uh make sure that you leave two or one bolts and don't let it uh fall on you okay again from this type of job you need the 12 millimeter you need a 12 millimeter socket and just uh, lose it a little bit there all three corners you might not need your extension Now you see it's loose. You'll be wanting to remove, I mean, uh, to leave two bolts that's close to your hand so you can use your other hands to carry the shock or coilovers, whatever you call it, so you don't fall on you. Carefully place them top there. So we'll see if I can find you a better view. Now 
now I'm only holding it with one hand. Now, when you're removing your shock or coilovers, make sure that you put a marquee on it so you don't misalign them when you place your new springs, okay? I can hold it. Let's see here. So, as you can see guys, I use this Sharpie here to mark, mark it up, come on camera, focus, mark, mark it out down there. And if you have a ruler back home, it's better, but this is straight enough, works out for me. As you can see, I mark it out on that side. That way, when I put this back, and I put the new spring won't have any issue on misaligning them so yeah so again if you're by yourself all you need is a jack and a dirty rag and you can do this by your own so if you are having hard time lifting this rotor you don't have to lift this you just have to line it up and place the jack underneath your rotors and just pump it pump it with this jack here there you have it now you have assistant floor jack you just have to place back your bolts here And you just have to place your bolts back. Where's the lower part? This is the lower part. As you guys can see. Let's see if it is aligned or not. Oh, it's not aligned. There. See the bottom part. We need to lift it a little bit. So yeah, it's pretty easy. I can't do it with two hands. I'm holding a camera here, so I'll update you later. It's already in, so you just have to put back your washer. How do I remember it? I label it. Same with the nut. Good.
this back where it belongs. Same with the little bolt here. I don't know if you guys can see. Once uh, everything everything is in place, we're gonna torque them to the right spec. So after you tighten everything down, you're gonna torque this one to a specific spec. This one is 18 foot pound. All three here is 18 foot pound, as well as torque down here as well. That's based on RCE. This is uh, 129, 129 foot pound and 24 foot pound 18 each foot pound and this one is 41 foot pound uh, i'm gonna check if i can torque this down but if not i'm gonna go to a mechanic shop and have them torque it out <laughs> yes, I was that. Yes, I Yes. So, this is the drop. Oh, that's so good, guys. This is the drop after uh, e batch. Oh, not not e batch. Sorry. After this uh, RCE. I hope it sell down for two finger. As of now, I can still put my put my three finger here. Uh, I hope it settle down. But other than that, I'm so happy with the drop. And yeah, that's about it. So if you're wondering if you cannot do it by yourself, don't be scared. There's a lot of tools in the hardware or whatever you know online you can watch some reviews or installation guide so yeah don't forget to hit like and subscribe again that's the three finger here it's barely making it two finger is all the way and for the back here two finger is just enough I hope it's just settled down. I mean, I hope it's settled down a little bit. But other than that, it's not that bad. It's a better drop. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna test it out later. See you guys. Already uh, loosen the two bolts under your trunk liner. Uh, I'm sure you'll find a lot of installation, but this is the two bolts. I already loosened them up and I keep the bolts so I don't lose them. So yeah, compare. Again, uh, this is the comparison. This is the OEM ones. And this is with the RCE yellow lowering spring no that was the picture the wheels are done pre you know 
So our rears are done. As you guys can see. It's already torqued down. Focus, come on, focus. There she goes. Finally, after 2,000 years, just kidding, just some hours, oh, maybe I should put a wood, maybe it's going to be too low, let's see here. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Wait a little more. Okay, game. Harap ng moment is in the bed. Moment of truth. Game? Yeah. Why you did not remove the... Maybe it's gonna be too low, that's why. Good. Two finger? Yes, finally. Two finger. Three? Three cannot fit. Okay. It will settle down in due time. I believe it's two finger. <laughs>